Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. For those of you that are interested, I posted a new 18 plus video. Go check it out. It was different. Um, I got a little confused during the reading, but it, 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 it was still a good reading, guys. It was still a good reading. Um, now... I don't usually take naps during the day because I have no time normally between YouTube and my regular job, my family, all this, but I've been sick, so I haven't been able to work, <clears throat> doctor's orders, but, um, so I, I took a nap and I ended up getting woken up by my divine masculine's voice screaming at me. <laughs> Um, and you guys know if you've been on this channel for a while, I don't share all my dreams I don't share all my channel messages from my divine masculine unless I'm called to um, Because it's relating to the divine masculine collective now what I got woken up to was uh, my divine masculine saying Damn it, Monica. What did you expect me to do leave my husband and my kids? I didn't know what to do. I barely knew you and then I kind of woke myself up because it was like loud. It was almost like that, um, you know, in movies when the person is like crying and angry, but like doesn't know what to do and is at like a loss, like literally holding their head and crying because like this person's so in love with the other person, but they have like responsibilities elsewhere. I feel like that's what the Divine Masculine Collective is at. I feel like this is a Divine Masculine who we're going to read on that is realizing that they do actually and, you know, they do actually have feelings for you. And it might have been something they denied in the past because we did pick that up. But I feel like we're becoming to... The journey is gaining momentum. I just saw 212. I feel like they're starting to wake up and not denying that they can't stop thinking about you, that they can't get you out of their head, um, etc. You know, uh, I also did just see 21, no, sorry, 221. Let me turn off the heater because it just got hot. And now I want to say, it's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. All right, we're going to jump right into tarot. Actually, I don't want to use that one. I hope everyone's having a good day. My son had his first official soccer practice. Oh, we have Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Someone's feeling fiery. I think that's Sagittarius. Um, but yeah, it was a good practice. I mean, it was pouring rain, but it was good. <laughs> what do you expect for Washington State, right? The Fool and the Ace of Pentacles. Damn the damn. Way to start it. Wow. King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Someone's feeling real grounded. Someone's money could be uh, taking a turn for the good as well. God, Michael, Spirit. Did I do my thing? Actually, you know what? We're going to put this back, guys. So I don't think I did my thing. God, Michael, Spirit. Please connect me to the Divine Masculine Collective at this this time. Don't worry, guys. If it's meant to come out, it will come out. God, Michael Spirit. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. We have the lovely Empress. Congratulations. Six of Wands. And I say congratulations because this could literally be a baby on the way. <laughs> uh, someone was right about something is what I just heard. Ace of Wands. Someone could want to get you pregnant, too. Queen of Swords. I just heard... Um, uh, I, hmm. Let's collect. I saw April 16th in my mind, but I almost said February 16th. So that could be significant for someone. If you have a boundary put up with someone, they are very sad about it. I'm hearing regretful for how I treated you, what I said. God, Michael Spirit, what else? What else for this Divine Masculine? Page of Pentacles. 
Let's move these little crystals over. Someone's favorite color could be blue. I just got drawn to this lovely crystal and I just saw 505. So major changes. I just heard you were the only one significant in my life. Ten of Cups. Five of Cups. This was, this is why I said they were sad. This was on the bottom of the deck when they placed on the Queen of Swords. God, Michael Spirit, why the Empress? Guys, watch out for scammers. Someone's impersonating me. So be careful with spelling. I have no symbols in my name. And definitely be careful for donation accounts because I don't know what's going on. I did report them and so did a few others. I did put it on my community tab. So just look out for that, guys. Okay. So, wow. 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 Someone is very in love with you. Like, they see everything with you. They feel like you and them together could literally conquer their world. Like, you guys can make it through anything. They admire your patience and your resilience is what I just heard. So, the Six of Wands is usually like, um, it's that you know, knight in shining armor type of thing where they come after winning a war and like they're showing off and, you know, they're getting gratitude from everyone and stuff like that. I do feel like your person wants to be this knight in shining armor because the knight in shining armor card is actually the, the knight of cups. So we have both of them. <laughs> They love how sweet and loving you are, but that you are also a warrior. Mm-hmm. They're trying to balance their finances and their responsibilities right now. This could be a Divine Masculine who, um, who has a very time-consuming schedule. They definitely were fighting this connection or fighting making a choice. But now they want to fix things. Yeah. They want to offer you the world. They see you as the world. Wow. They know that you guys have a, a destined connection. God, Michael Spirit, why the Six of Wands? Huge transformation in this connection is coming soon. And you know, guys, I don't like doing timelines because energy changes like the fucking weather. Excuse my language. But something happened. Something uh, gave this uh, Divine Masculine a swift kick in the ass is what I just heard. <laughs> 838. Might be significant. Queen of Swords, it could have been you. You might have delivered that swift kick in the ass when you dropped them like a bad habit. Yeah, they thought you were always going to pour your emotions out to them. But as the Queen of Cups has the lid and the only cup in the deck that has the lid, you know when to give your emotions away and you know when to cap that ass. Let's get one more for this Queen of Swords and the Six of Wands. Yeah, Three of Cups in reverse. I just heard you didn't want to be part of a third party situation, but also there wasn't any connection. There was no reunion energy coming and we have the strength here. And you basically had to call it what it was. It wasn't that you were um, demanding. I, I'm not getting like ultimatum. But more like, yeah, Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. We're either going to freshen this up. We're either going to make this grow, birth this into uh, fruition, or I'm out. 
Like, you gotta give me something is what I'm hearing. This could have been an in and out energy, guys, that you were dealing- Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Sorry. My, my little OCD's getting to me. Okay, I'm done. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They kind of admire that you set this boundary, though, believe it or not. They love that you respect yourself so much that you stop dealing with their shit. Honestly, this, this detachment out of nowhere, this connection, this energy pulling back from them made them realize that you guys had a soul connection. Divine Feminines, you could have um, children. That's not for everyone. Um, specifically a boy with the Page of Cups. Or is the Page of Cups a girl? I feel like it's a boy. I got boy. I was drawn to the blue. But we do have pink here. So take it out. It resonates. I feel like this, if you do have a child, this person got in their head about them. Yeah, um, I think they felt bad. I don't know if maybe your your kid has gone through a lot and yeah, something about shaking up the foundation, their foundation. So this divine masculine was caring about if there was a child involved in your life. They also were wondering how they were going to take it, this this child, how they were going to take it if this Divine Masculine did move forward with you. That's not for everyone, guys. So only take what resonates. This is a general collective reading. Why the Ace of Wands? Guys, if you haven't already, hit that like, subscribe, comment on this video. You know, if you want to talk. <laughs> Or just show some love. You can hit that share button too. Even if you guys don't actually share it. Um, it does register in the algorithm. And it helps me out. I'm trying to bust out some more videos for you guys. I'm trying to honestly let go of Uber Eats. And just make myself like a full time YouTuber. So I can post on TikTok. And Instagram. And all this other stuff. But you yeah, know. It's a little bit difficult when you got bills. And a kid that just started soccer season. And grows out of everything. Because I swear guys. He's like Jack in the Beanstalk. He never stops growing. I just stopped shuffling at Nine of Pentacles. Yeah this is what my son thinks I am. Balling and abundant. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay why the Ace of Wands? Why the Ace of Wands? I'm done talking guys. Whoa 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 whoa. Why the Ace of Wands? The moon in reverse. Ooh. Someone has worked through their fears when it comes to pursuing you. Because they do see you as this empress. And they do see... Ooh, I just heard I want to build with you. Yeah, and we were getting, like, wanting to conquer the world. I don't see that as, like, a, an evil thing, guys. I just mean, like, this person sees you as the queen you are to them being the king and that you guys can accomplish the things that you want to accomplish oh damn look though seven of swords you know what i said oh damn but i'm not even feeling a damn i feel like they're keeping this from you <laughs> they're not letting you know or showing you is what i heard that they have conquered their fears something's poking out yeah uh, I don't know why I was going to say the Emperor, but the Hierophant. Eight of Cups. Wow. So this could be a divine, divine Masculine who was very traditional. And they're walking away from the fear of judgment from tradition. And they haven't told you this yet. 
They also could be legitly walking away from a higher level of commitment or a marriage. Yeah, something that they weren't happy in. And they, they waited. They gave this, this marriage a chance. It wasn't like, you know, up and leave. This could have been a person, I'm not going to lie, that could have chose money over love. They may have blocked this connection and didn't proceed because um, I'm also hearing they couldn't give you what you wanted. Maybe they told you that or maybe they felt that. Queen of Pentacles, again, I kept seeing this little beauty, but I didn't say anything. Well, we got the Emperor with the Ten of cups here you emotionally fulfill this divine masculine and i think it's because you've been so consistent and stable and nurturing it's um not saying that like you're a mom to them but you give them this motherly energy and i just kind of got sad so maybe there's like a mother wound from this um divine masculine that they haven't healed or maybe that's what they had been trying to heal and you help them with that. They didn't believe that someone could stick around after everything that they've done. Like you've shown that to them. Yeah, King of Swords. They could have been in a re very King of Swords energy. Very logical. Um, I'm getting very intelligent, but very stern. So they may have communicated things to you very stern. All right, let's get one more for this um, Moon in Reverse. Yeah, this Two of Swords wants to come out. So they still are not 100% sure how to reach out to you is what I'm hearing. I just heard after so long. Um, Look at though, they want to. Ace of Wands with the Six of Pentacles. They want to give you equal reciprocity. I just saw 1717. Look at, look at this, guys. Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. They want to send you some kind of message and explain this to you. That um, if they weren't giving you what you needed before, they want to do it now. Yeah, and they're making steps towards that, guys, with the Three of Wands and the King of Wands. Yeah, it's given me four of wands. Like, they realize with how sad they've been, how much they've been longing for you. I just pictured a, a Divine Masculine crying. That they realize that you are their emotional fulfillment. We got the Ten of Cups twice, remember, in two different decks. And the Four of Wands is that 11-11 reunion card. Could be marriage. I'm getting that there's a Divine Masculine that... Obviously, is very traditional because I said that before, but they want to do things traditionally with you. So if you guys are into it, marriage, kids, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, we do have the Four of Swords and the Five of Cups. This could be why right now it's not happening because they're healing and they're going through a lot of emotions. I just heard I'm getting over a heartbreak, so I don't know what that's all about. You know what? We can find out what that's all about, though. So let's find out. Let's use a different deck. God, Michael, Spirit, what heartbreak is this Divine Masculine going through? God, Michael, Spirit, what heartbreak is this Divine Masculine? Ooh, shit, shit, shit. All right. Eight of Cups again with the Death and the Nine of Wands and the Empress. This could be a um, mother of a child energy. But there's no gender in tarot, so it could be like the father of a child. Knight of Wands. Ooh, no. Why did I just channel that? Oh, fudge me. Mm. Guys, this isn't for everyone. But um, I know some of you do have divine masculines because... You know, males and females watch my channel. But um, there could have been a divine masculine 
or Divine Feminine that recently had a miscarriage or stillborn. I'm getting miscarriage though. So I'm sorry if that happened to you guys. It could have been like uh, seven months in. That's sad. 777 seven, seven could be significant for you guys. <clears throat> and honestly, as sad as that sounds, um, sevens are definitely a divine number. So I feel like, oh, I hate to even say this, but like it was meant to be. Another way I could read this is there was a feminine energy attached to this divine masculine that cheated on this divine masculine with multiple people. And this divine masculine felt um, like it took a hit to the ego for sure. It could have been at work with the three of pentacles or like a friend group or a community. Um, this divine masculine could have seen um, text messages or I just heard on the laptop messages like emails and they had to walk away and that was a big transformation that put him through a lot. Yeah, three of cups, third party. <clears throat> so as much as you guys don't want to hear sometimes if the divine masculine leaves the karmic that they're sad and heartbroken guys understand long-term relationships marriages those are not easy to leave 2202 on the clock i'm not saying that they should put you in an option position and string you along and not leave their karmic and not learn the lesson that's not at all what i'm saying but we are all human and we have hearts, <laughs> okay? You should be grateful that your Divine Masculine, honestly, 2222 on the clock, is sad about leaving their karmic because it means this is someone that has a heart, that cares, okay? All right, why the Queen of Swords? Swords? Oh my gosh, my Boston accent came out was like, hey guys, you thought I was from Washington? Nah. <laughs> Go park the car in the yard. <laughs> All right. We have uh, three of pentacles and the seven of cups. Oh, my gosh. We just got this in the this deck. Okay. When we were talking about the karmic. So maybe some of you have been cheated on. Just throwing that out there. Or you felt betrayed in some way. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, so I feel like right now, Divine Feminines, I'm not going to lie, you're heavily focusing on your career and your money. I also just heard the people that is showing up in my life. Mmm, you having fun. <laughs> ooh, ooh, buddy. What? Yup. Yeah, you coming out as the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Wands. You're like, if I want it, I'm going to go get it. Ain't nobody telling me I can't have anyone or anything. <laughs> yes, Divine Feminines, come through. I'm with you. Like, I'm at that point. I'm with you. But yeah, you're definitely, um, you're definitely confident. You're definitely fiery. You could have fire in your chart. Um, but I, I'm being drawn to this sunflower. I do think that you're still soft, um, I don't mean that in a negative way, like you a soft ass bitch or something like that. But um, I do feel like you're still that feminine energy, very soft, but very fiery, very spicy <laughs> with the queen of swords right now. Um, but yeah, heavily on working on your finances and trying to figure out what's the best route, what to do. Um, and it could be because it was a long time coming. And you were sitting in this sad, rejected energy for a while. And it could have been because of your divine masculine. But you kind of realized the truth. And the truth was, not making a choice was a choice in itself. And it broke your heart. But you had to move on. Um, you guys could be connecting to Michael, Raphael, Uriel at this time. 
Raphael is good for healing. Um, and I know a lot of people say Michael's good for protection, and he is. Uh, but keep in mind, he also is like the shit when it comes to running all of the angels. Like, he's the chief prince of all the angels. So, um, it's good to pray to uh, one of those. Hmm. Yeah, we have the tower. Something unexpected. What's happening? What's happening here? I want to know. I want to know what love is. I want you to show me. That is so old. I don't know why that just came to my head. Uh, maybe someone's going to show you what love is. All right, God, Michael Spear. What's this tower for this divine feminine? Someone's name could be Stacy or Sarah. Oh my gosh, it's Knight of Wands again. Ooh, are you getting some unexpected nookie nook? <laughs> you, you getting your cookies and milk? Yup, in a car? <laughs> Chariot? Bruh. Oh man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you getting your wish fulfillment with your Divine Masculine? Bro, dude, I just heard nine times, and I can't say the word, because then I would have to label it an 18 plus. But yeah, you guys, you're going to be singing with the angels that night. Okay, we're going to put this away, because this ain't that reading. Go check out my 18 plus reading. I'm pretty sure we channeled car interactions. Wow, and I just split the deck at the four of wands so i think that after that interaction that's unexpected um you guys kind of wow i just started moving in together but that's not for everyone guys so don't get lost in the sauce um but it does change things <laughs> in your dynamic why the page of pentacles you go from page of pentacles to like actually the page of pentacles could be an engagement ring but you know again it's not for everyone Oh, shit. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for my first wedding invitation when you guys come together. Don't forget about me. I help you laugh through the sadness, okay? I help guide you through the madness. Yeah, someone's going back and forth whether or not to offer you something. After an ending. It's an ending they manifested, though. It could be manifesting multiple things right now. This is giving me twin flame energy because I saw the lovers and the four of wands again. <clears throat> All right, why the ace of pentacles? Let's get to the bottom of this. Hangman. Someone <clears throat> is getting a change in perspective after being in a place of stagnation i'm hearing it wasn't really stagnation in the 5d though everything was working out the divine was working things out someone's dreams could be significant yeah your ships are coming in it's in the form of a form of a tall dark and handsome king of wands <laughs> i'm just kidding not everyone's fucking with a dude uh, what's the girl version? I don't know why I keep pick it, picturing Megan Fox, but maybe that's the girl version. Shout out if you look like Megan Fox. Damn. <laughs> Yo, okay. This divine masculine. Mm. Guys, if you watch my 18 plus readings. Page of Wands, Eight of Wands. And the king of wands. Like, you know what this is. This is... They want you. Like, period. End of story. Like, nobody touches you but me kind of energy. And I know some of you are going to be like, That's toxic. I get it. Like, everything's fucking toxic. Relax. If you love someone and you are in a relationship with them... They have every right for people to not touch you, okay? I'm just saying, like... I don't know. 
I guess that's just me. Maybe I'm old school, but if I'm with someone, nobody else is touching her. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> but yeah, um, they're gonna take action. They're gonna send you some kind of message. And they're pretty hyped about it, I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty, like, optimistic about it. I'm still getting, I don't know how they're doing it, though. Temperance. So, they're gonna feel out. They're gonna be patient. Feel out the energy when energy is feeling right. Kind of contemplate a little bit. A little bit. Not make it too spicy. <laughs> Alright, why the Ten of Cups? Aw, oh, fudge. Yeah, Five of Pentacles in reverse. I'm telling you. Someone's finances is taking a turn. So if someone chose money over love, and now they got money, they're like, well, why the fuck am I here? <laughs> like, why am I here? I could go for my emotional fulfillment. Like, this person, rainbows could be significant for you guys. Um, This person is the one I want to be with. And I was feeling trapped before, but now I'm not. Yeah, damn. Hierophant. Mm-mm. Walking away from that codependency. Yeah, could have been because of lies, guys. And they're not telling you. They're keeping this from you. Why are they keeping it from you? They want to do things right, I just heard. You're very intuitive. <laughs> they're trying to keep a secret through energy exchange. <laughs> they're trying to avoid conflict, guys. Yeah, I just, um, I just heard I want to protect you from my karmic. Divine Feminines, are we scared of these karmics? Nah, these karmics need to be scared of us. Our spiritual teams are on high alert when it comes to protection. They're missing you a lot, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Could have a past life together. Alright, let's get one more. Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Cups. God, Michael's spirits. Yeah, I just heard that it was hard for them to leave because it was very deep-rooted. So this could have been a very long-term commitment. Because, um, you know, some people be married for like a year and like knew each other for three months and then got married, you know. But then you got people like, you know, me, 13 years. And then I, I knew my, um, my son's mother prior so it was like my son's whole life. We met literally when she came back from maternity leave. And no, I did not cheat. I did not cheat. We were legitly just friends for like two years. I didn't even see her in that way, actually. She was a straight girl. You know, she actually said that Going downtown on a girl was so gross. She could never see herself doing it. 13, I mean, 33, 13 on the clock. And I was like, well, damn, you fucking lied. <laughs> I just saw three, two, one. I'm going to stop. All right. We have the sun on the bottom of the deck. So it, with the sun and the 10 of cups, I'm not going to lie. This person probably has kids and it was deep rooted. I just heard four kids. That's a lot of fucking kids, but um, <laughs> I can't even say anything. Never mind. Um, yeah, so it, it kind of put them in a, a pause. Well, I just heard I became dead inside. So it seems like this was a divine masculine that literally made a sacrifice and stayed in this commitment for the kids. Even though they weren't happy. Yeah, but there's a cycle being closed. Damn, again. Guys, look how beautiful this is. There's a cycle being closed because they finally realize that you guys are destined together. They're de you're destined to be together. You're destined to be in each other's lives. You could be having a spiritual baby or, you know, an actual baby. I mean, spiritual babies are actual babies. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's been delayed messages, but... They're gonna take that leap of faith, guys. You have to trust. I'm being drawn to the sun. 
Could be on a sunny day. Could be summertime. But you need to trust. Everything's gonna be alright. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. That's a Justin Bieber song. Very old one. But every time I try to look it up, it's like not there. So now I'm wondering if it was a Mandela effect. And if you know, you know, I'm not going to get into it, but we're going to pull some channel messages. I was seeing a lot of these messages in my channeled message deck, so we're going to use this one. Someone could have blonde hair, curly blonde hair. I just got drawn to uh, what's on my laptop screen. In case you guys think I'm lying. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. I want you to see my shit, so... Look at that beauty. Damn, I want to do another 18 plus reading. <laughs> I usually only do it when I'm called to it, but damn, this energy. All right. God, Michael, spirit, if nothing was holding back this divine masculine, what would they express to this divine feminine? I want you to feel safe in my arms. I just heard I want to do what's best for you as well. Hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you see it? There we go. You know what? I'm going to put this over here. What's up on my screen now? Hold on, guys. There we go. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. Actually, we'll put this here so you guys can see it. Well, look at this, guys. I can't wait to tell you how I truly feel about you. Uh, this Divine Masculine could be watching you on social media as well, guys. That just came through. Um... Kind of like planning to see what you're into. Maybe like studying you a little bit. So be careful with that. 723, make sure they're not going to run no game on you. Because they're watching you in some way. Um, I saw 723 and I did say summertime. And I was getting Leo energy a lot. Um, so July 23rd could be significant. We have, I want to show you the real me. I don't know why I had such a hard time reading that. Maybe they're still a little bit hesitant to show you the real them because they're afraid that when you see the real them, 38, um, that you may change your mind is what I just heard. And then we have, I want to see you in person. So maybe you guys haven't seen each other for a while. I adore you. I'm getting that um, Adore song by Miguel. If you be the moon, I'll be the rubber band. Be the match, I will be the fuse. Boom. I haven't heard that song in forever, guys, so I kind of forgot the words. My bad. <laughs> I've cried over you. I told you this earlier, guys. I definitely was picturing in the Divine Masculine. Um, like a very uh, manly masculine beard medium brown dirty blonde hair sorry i was getting a download my bad uh not for you though uh we want the same things in life oh that's cool we want the same things in life so, if you guys weren't seeing things the same before, um, they're seeing they're seeing a life with you. Damn, I'm getting a lot of downloads. Sorry, guys, that I keep pausing. Remember, we did get that they want to build with you in the beginning. Build a family, build a life. Like, they, they, wow, I'm getting, like, super emotional right now. Like, this is a divine masculine that realizes you're it. Like, and you, you guys know me. I don't say this in readings because I, I like to keep us grounded. But 
Like, this Divine Masculine literally sees life through you. Like, in you. It's no one but you. Damn. My fucking girly side's coming out, guys. I'm really sad. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. Um, I picture us kissing, kissing each other softly. I got lost for a while. You helped bring me back. I told you. You helped this Divine Masculine see what was up. I want to laugh with you. I'm also hearing, um, I want to be the reason you smile. I'm also hearing that someone is tired of being on the sidelines. <clears throat> um, so you may be growing in some sense. And they feel a little bit left out. They want to be a part of your story is what I'm hearing. You guys could be authors as well. You guys could be writing stories or poems or your twin flame journey. I saw 4044. I hope our children get along. I was picking up heavily on children. Remember, guys. <clears throat> we picked up that you may have a child, divine, feminine, and they weren't leaving because of children. So I hope our children get along. Children get along. <laughs> I just plural the shit out of it. Probably because I channeled four freaking kids. Um, did I show you guys this? I want to show you the real me. I think that came out again on the bottom of the deck. Alright, what else? Last minute messages from this Divine Masculine to this Divine Feminine. If nothing was holding them back. God, Michael, spirit messages from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Whoa. No. Okay, that's a lot. We're gonna do this? Hold on. Alright, they're telling me to take it all, so we're taking it all. We listen to God when God speaks. Alright. We have, I want to protect you from my karmic. This is literally the card I channeled earlier. This is why they're doing things right, and this is why they're not coming towards you or saying anything. Um, it could be because they're afraid that their karmic's going to go apeshit, because the karmic's going to feel a bit betrayed um, by choosing you. So maybe this is a karmic that knows you exist. Um, and this Divine Masculine is trying to do everything right for the children and for everyone involved, including you. So they don't trust this uh, karmic energy. All right, so what do we have? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe someone says let's go because I definitely do not. When my son plays video games, he, he used to scream, let's go, let's go. I'm like, do you know any other words? Like, literally, pick anything else. Like, that's awesome, sweet bro. Like, fucking anything. If I hear let's go for the next two hours, I'm going to unplug and we're about to go. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. He was frustrating me so much. So now he's like, let's go. <laughs> uh, I love my son. Uh, you are perfect for me. I'm getting that song and I always get this dude's name wrong. So I'm going to try really hard to remember it. Um, It's not even a hard... I think it's... Fuck. Bradley Marshall, I think it is. Uh, perfect for me. Um, it goes, I don't know if I can sing it right now. I just saw 4343. I've never loved someone like you before. And I know I'll never find anything more. You can take what you want. Give you my lungs if you need it to breathe. I haven't heard the song in a while, guys. This was one of my songs that I stopped listening to because it made me sad. And I was like, fuck you, you're not perfect. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wasn't that sad and depressing, I promise. I hope not. In the beginning, that was kind of depressing, though. Uh, I am grateful for you and to you. Guys, always remember, when you're, when you're saying you're grateful to the, you know, God... Um, don't forget to say that you're grateful for your tw your twin, regardless of whether or not they're in your life. Be grateful, 444 four, four on the clock. And be grateful for their healing, too. And again, not for you, but for them. 
Remember, you guys share the same soul. So if they're not handling their business, it's going to pull on you. And it's going to make your journey a lot harder. I don't party like I used to. You are so funny. I'm getting the little rascals, Alfalfa, singing to Darla in the boat. <laughs> um, you are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? <laughs> I love that movie when I was little. Um, I want to take you out on a date. And guys, if it, this is you watching, they want you to take them out on a date, however your dynamic goes. I want to open up to you. Yeah, remember we got, they want to show you the real them. I hope our extended families get along. So family is very significant for this divine masculine. They're hoping that your children get along, that your extended families get along. I wouldn't be surprised if the card that says, I hope our friends get along. I want you to trust me. So they could have betrayed you in some way. I just heard you can expect the apology you're expecting to receive. I never thought a love like ours existed in real life until I felt you. So it wasn't just the way you looked. It was the feeling you gave this divine masculine that I just pictured fireworks. Yeah, you set their soul on fire. I'm getting that song, Soul on Fire, by... Nate Smith, I want to trust you. So there's a lot to do with trust, and I just heard respect. So maybe if you get a lot of attention, because I'm being drawn to this Knight of Wands, or maybe you could be fun and flirty like I am, and um, it kind of doesn't put this divine masculine at ease. So, because when I read this card, it's almost like they're convincing themselves that they want to trust you. Like they know they can trust you, but they want to feel like they can trust you. Because remember, a few days ago, we channeled the Selfish song by um, Justin Timberlake. And he's talking about, I have too much pride to let any other man get in his way or take you or something like that. I miss you deeply. We did say that earlier too, when we saw the Six of Cups. Yes, this card came out too. I channeled this. Remember, I want to build with you. These were the cards I was... I'm so glad these cards came out for extra confirmation for you guys. I don't want to fight anymore. Yeah, this, this Divine Masculine wants to move forward. Like, forward is the only way they want to to look. They don't want to look back. I'm not saying for you guys not to talk about what happened or apologies needing to be discussed or anything like that. But they do want to move forward. Do you think of me in the ways I think of you? I want you to love me as much as I love you. Yeah, so they're feeling a little bit insecure, guys. Because they're wondering if they feel, if you feel this connection too. If you think of them, if you love them. Um, and then we have, I'm getting clean from addictions, which is so awesome. Someone's name could be Rebecca, because I just... That just popped into my mind. We're going to close this reading with the Lover's Oracle, guys. Yeah, and this is kind of giving me that whole heart on fire, soul on fire vibe. God, Michael, spirit. Messages from... Nope. Messages for this divine connection. Anything? Okay. Some of you could be earth angels. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Remember, I was talking about leaving the past in the past. And it could be this addictions. Maybe this divine masculine wants to be completely honest with you. But they don't want you to judge them for their past mistakes. Or their past decisions. Because I feel like not nothing is really a mistake. It's a lesson. Remember guys, love, lust, or lesson. The three L's in life. We have this one right here. And this is a big one in this reading, guys. Trust again. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. 
gonna let you guys ruminate on what that means for you because I don't like to explain everything because it's different for everyone and I want you guys to follow your intuition and then we have this lovely card right here sexual union honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss we were picking up on that energy guys and then the bottom of the deck is this lovely card right here and it says life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. So guys, start trusting a little bit more in this journey, both Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines. And you know what else, guys? Hit that like, subscribe, and comment on this video. I love you guys. Peace.